G'day guys, I've got a management accounting question for you here today where I'm going to introduce the concept of a contribution margin. So let's have a look at what we've got. A small business that manufactures shelving has a monthly fixed production cost of 2000 bucks and a variable production cost of $90 per shelf. The business receives 150 bucks for each shelf sold, ignoring GST fine the following. The annual profit or loss if the company sells 50 shelves per month and the break-even point for annual sales. Okay, so before we start, let's just delve into the concept of a contribution margin. Now, a contribution margin is basically the selling price minus the variable cost of making it. Now, basically, the contribution margin tells us as a business owner or a business manager how much the um, selling of one good is going to contribute, hence contribution margin, to covering our fixed costs. In this case, it's going to be like the rent and the electricity involved in the building of making our shelves. Okay, so basically, the way we're going to use contribution margin for part A of this question is we're going to attack it like so. We're going to find the contribution margin of each shelf. So let's just work that out first. We have the contribution margin is equal to the selling price, 150 bucks, minus the production cost. Cool. And this is going to be obviously $60. So basically, the way you can think about this is each of our shelves we sell for $60 more than the cost of putting it together. So if we exclude all of our fixed costs like the rent on the building and all those sort of things, if we just take into consideration like materials and the labor cost of putting the shelf together, we sell that for $60 more than all of those parts combined cost. So why is this helpful? Because what we can do then is we can work out the total sort of profit margin we're going to get on 50 shelves a month. So what we can do is we can say the contribution margin of 50 shelves is going to be equal to obviously $60 times 50 shelves or $3,000. Now, what we can do from here is the profit on our business. We can, this is a pretty simple and intuitive formula. We know that the profit of a firm is equal to its revenue minus its fixed costs minus its variable costs. Now, what we've done is we've basically packaged this one and this one together. So to find our profit, all we're going to have to do is go our revenue minus our variable cost, which is $3,000, minus our fixed cost, which is $2,000. Now, where I would see people coming unstuck in this question is after we provide this number of $1,000 a month, we're not going to quickly check and see that the question is asking for annual profit. So a sim um, simple mistake, like a mistake that can be, you know, changed quite quickly but you're going to lose a lot of marks for not, you know, reading the question correctly. So, if we're making a thousand bucks a month profit, so annually, it's going to be equal to a thousand bucks times twelve months in a year, which is equal to 
$12,000 per annum profit. Cool. So let's get on to part B. The breaking point, or this is supposed to say, sorry guys, I'm going to do a bit of uh, editing. This is supposed to say the break even. That's a bit of a derp mistake on my behalf. Sorry about that. The breaking, the break even point for annual sales. Cool. So, basically, the break even point is when our revenue is equal to the sum of uh, both of our costs. Okay? So, or the way we could think about it is the break even point. is when the contribution margin of um, each of our shelves times the number of shelves is equal to our fixed cost. So we're contributing enough just to cover our fixed costs. So the way we can do this is we're going to go, well, this is going to equal our contribution margin is $60. times the number of units we're selling, let's just call it X, minus $2,000, which is our fixed cost per month, has to be equal to zero. They have to equal each other. Now, a little bit of basic algebra will sort of get you to a point where we have X is equal to 2000 bucks divided by 60 bucks, which is equal to 100 over 3. So that is our number of units per month that we're going to have to make to break even. Again, it's asking for annual sales. So we can, yeah, we'll move, we'll just move it next door to it. So we can just write the The annual sales will be equal to 100 over 3, because that's our monthly break-even sales, times 12. And you guessed it, guys. That's going to be equal to 400 shelves per year. Cool. So not a very complicated question. I thought I would bring up the idea of contribution margin in a sort of a quite a basic example. So again, let's just go through what contribution margin is. So the contribution margin of selling a particular product is the revenue get you get from the sale or the sticker price of the product minus the cost of the parts and the labor that was that can be attributed to making that particular product. So it's not the, the building, it's not the uh, land, it's not the cost of management. It's only attributable to the cost of building that product. So the labor hours involved in manufacturing the product will be included in this variable cost because those labor hours will obviously increase as the number of products that we make increase. Obviously, the materials that go into the product will be part of the variable cost because the amount of materials increase as the amount of products increase. Okay, so you get that. What we do is we can attribute, once we get this contribution margin, which can be attributed to a singular thing, we then multiply it by the uh, number of units that we have to get what basically our, our profit's going to be, a gross profit. Now, our net profit is going to be then our gross profit subtract our fixed costs, which we had as $2,000 a month. So once we've done that, we can get our annual profit or loss for the 50 shelves per month annual figure, uh, monthly figure, sorry. And in part B, the break-even point, all you're going to do 
is find out how many units you're going to sell with a contribution margin, whatever it is, to cover your $2,000 fixed cost. So it's very simple algebra and it comes out as a very simple, straightforward answer. So guys, I hope this uh, video helped. You know, it is quite a simple one. I can put, if you guys request it, I can put a few more complicated ones on here. If you guys have any complicated questions to ask regarding this sort of thing, fire them at me and I'll be happy to give them a shot. But until next time, guys, enjoy your studies.